I have an exciting update for you guys on this modern new built house. I know it's been a minute since I've made an update on this, but that's because things have just been going relatively slower than expected. And now things are picking up speed and we've made some good changes or no, we've made good progress here since the last video. I can't remember where I left off, but I don't think you guys have been able to see kind of like the room, the bathrooms put together, the walls have been painted, flooring has been installed, um, so many good fun things have been happening. I'm gonna give you a quick tour on the space, so let's go. As we enter the space, this is the entry area, little, little small area, but I wanna note the light fixture. We went with a semi-flush bulb light, and this will tie in with all the other light fixtures that you see in the space but that's a little closet. And as we move on to the main area, you can see we got flooring, the walls have been painted. Look at just how bright and open this whole space feels. The island pendants for the kitchen have also been installed. We don't have the bulbs on there, well like the glass blob bulbs, because we don't want you know, risk them getting broken once they're putting the cabinets on. So for the meantime, we just have the light bulb exposed. Right now I'm standing in the kitchen area, just kind of panning into the living and dining area. And now let me just show you guys the bathrooms. So this is the bathroom that is shared by the two bedrooms that are across from one another. And we have the shower door here that needs to be installed still. But we got the floor tile. We went with a 12 by 24 white ceramic floor tile. And it is polished. It, right now it's just really dirty because they've been working on here. For the shower area, we went dark. And we have a black penny tile. We carried on the white for the shower threshold. And for the walls, we went with the same material all across. It is a 24 by 24 porcelain tile that has kind of like this marble texture and I just love how it looks. Um, the shower. As you can see, the shower trim and the shower head are two different metal finishes and that will be fixed. That is really bothering me on like why they would install that, but that's besides the point. That will get fixed. I do want to talk about the shower for a little bit. This is a two-in-one shower head. So this plops off as I press the button. And this also serves as a hand shower and a shower head too. So you just put it back in place. Moving on to the side, we got the toilet. We got this vanity. I am really obsessed with this vanity, guys. I just love the concrete finish and the black metal legs. They took out the door because they needed to do the plumbing. But this offers a good amount of space to store any items. And we can store like any other items down, down here too. Uh, coming up, we got the single hole faucet and a chrome finish to match the chrome for the shower head. You will get fixed. <laughs> And the medicine cabinet still needs to get installed. We got the vanity light, and I wanna show you guys how the space looks like with the ceiling light and the vanity light. Look at that, that is so bright. I love that. So if I turn off the ceiling light, the vanity light still offers a good amount of lighting into the space. And so if you're in the bathroom you can still you know get that nice glow there's no mirror there but I just want to show you guys how it still will give you a nice glow and the shower door is glass which is see-through so the light will still come into the shower area and not block off anything when the bathroom hardware still needs to get installed like the towel bar and the towel ring will be on this wall and for the tissue paper holder we are going with the freestanding tissue paper holder because there was not really a good spot to wall mount a tissue paper holder. Like I did not want to, you know, drill it onto the cabinet here or onto here because like if you're sitting here, you're going to have to like reach back really awkwardly. That is it for this bathroom. Let's move on to the other bathroom. So this is the master bedroom. We got the bathroom and this little area. Oh my gosh, let me fix the exposure. This little area is an office space, 
And I do want to show you the light fixture. Again, ties in with the entry and the kitchen. This one has three bulbs just to kind of illuminate the area a little bit more. So if I turn it on. For the master bathroom, this is actually a little bit smaller than the shared bathroom. But since it was smaller, you know, I wanted to kind of make this area a little bit more different. And we had to go with, of course, a smaller vanity. This is 30 inches wide. But I loved the wood touches on the vanity and how it looked against the black tile. It just gave it like some sense of warmth into this bathroom. That's the widespread vanity faucet and the vanity mirror has been mounted for this bathroom. This opens up and gives them extra more storage to store whatever they need. And I love the black trim around and the rounded corners. Just kind of softens it up a little bit more. The vanity light has a chrome backplate and trim to go along with all the other chrome fixtures that we have in the space. We're dealing with the same issue. You gotta go. So the vanity light and the ceiling light both together still illuminate the bathroom very well even though there's some black floor tile and we carry that same black tile up against the shower wall just to kind of add a little bit of a statement in this room and it makes it a little bit moody because you know the exterior colors are black and white so it just you know kind of transfer those colors into the interior this bathroom does have a window so more natural light comes into the space i don't think they're going to be needing to turn on the light as much so this is how the bathroom looks like without the ceiling light turned on it's still very well lit and this is how it looks like with no light so essentially the window is their natural source of light. I don't think I got a chance to show you, but we did go with a white penny tile in this bathroom just to kind of contrast it against the black accent tile and the floor tile here. Both ends of the shower walls are white. The shower door is going to be the same as the other bathroom, so it's clear glass sliding. Well, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this modern house update. Stay tuned for the next video. I think we'll have the kitchen cabinets installed, the floor stained, the bathrooms finished by then. So it'll be even more exciting than this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate your support or subscribe if you want or not. That's up to you, boo-boo. Anyways, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace. It's not for me to say you